Unless you live on an open piece of land, at some point you're going to have brush to deal with on your farm. And you don't always have to burn or dispose of that brush. A lot of times I'll use it to create wildlife habitat. Using a chainsaw makes pretty quick work of this job. Now you don't have to use a chainsaw. If you have a handsaw, you can use that too. I think it goes without saying that if you're going to use a chainsaw, make sure you wear all the proper safety gear. Like I've got this helmet with ear protection on as well as face protection. Also wearing gloves, wearing sturdy shoes, just to make sure if something falls on my feet, I'm not going to crush my toes, but make sure you follow all the safety protocols of your chainsaw before using it. So now all I'm going to do, these logs aren't of uniform length. Some are a little longer, some are a little shorter. That really doesn't matter. So all I'm gonna do now is just stack them up Lincoln log style and just make a box out of them. Or if you wanted to, you can make a triangle out of them. Whatever shape you wanna use, you can make that shape. But the tr trick is, is just stack them up, stack them up loosely and just kind of get a general structure made from what we've got left behind. And there you have it, building an animal shelter is really that simple. All I did was take the logs that I'd cut from elsewhere on the property, cut them about six, seven feet long, something like that. The length, overall length really doesn't matter. And then I stacked them kind of Lincoln log style to make this cedar log cabin structure. And then on top, I just took some extra limbs I had to, to uh, just throw up on top and give a little bit extra shelter. Now, as time goes on, weeds will grow up around this, vines will grow up around this. It'll become even more and more enclosed and that's gonna make a perfect hut for whatever animal chooses to use it. And then if we think in terms of five, 10 years from now, over time, this whole structure is gonna start to settle a little bit. It's gonna start to decompose. It's gonna put nutrients back into the soil and it's gonna create even better habitat for a whole variety of species animals. I, this later on this year, when this starts getting used, I'm gonna put a game camera up and hopefully I'll see all kinds of animals utilizing this structure that I built. Didn't cost a thing, cost maybe 20 minutes to build, but it's a great way to utilize old brush that you may have around the property.